all right friends welcome back to another video on what's new on liveware version 2.6 so in this video i will show you three different features that were added on liveware version 2.6 so let's get started so here i'm running the same project one on port 8000 and another one on port 8001 and in port 8001 we are running the latest version of liveware which is 2.6 and in port 8000 we are running the older version of liveware so that it will be easy for me to show you the differences so now let's start with the first one and in liveware version 2.6 two new hooks are added related to pagination one is updated page and another is updating page so let me show you what they can do and how they can be useful first of all let me try this on the older version of liveware okay so let me go to list users.php which is the component class and over here let me add a new method called updated page okay and over here let me die and dump here now if i go to page 2 then we are not calling that method actually this method is not called because we don't have support for updated page hook before liveware version 2.6 so let me try the same on our latest version of liveware which is 2.6 so let me go to list users and let me add that same method okay now let me go to the project which is running on port 8001 and over here let me go to next page and we triggered that method actually that updated page hook got triggered so we are displaying this so now let me show you one use case for this hook called updated page so let me go over here first of all let me increase the list of items so let me go over here and instead of using page node 5 let's stick with the default which will be 15 so now we have the long list of our users okay so now if i click on page 2 we are calling that method but over here for now let me do just comment it and then let me click on page 2 again and we are on page 2 but we need to scroll this back to see this users right so to make this more intuitive what if we scroll this by default instead of doing the manual scroll right so if we switch to page one we need to scroll this back again to see those users right so let me show you how we can scroll this to the top if we are switching between different pages so this can be useful for users okay also it provides some kind of better user experience as well now from this method let's dispatch the browser event okay so we can do this dispatch browser event and the name of the event is updated page okay now let's listen for this event let me go to app.blade.php which is the main layouts file and at the end let me add a new script tag and over here we can listen for that event using window.add event listener and the name of the event is updated page and let me pass the closure and inside this function let's do window dot scroll to and we want to scroll to the top right so let me pass the object and top zero so now let me try this first of all let me refresh and let me go to page one and we are on top right let me go to the end and if we switch to page two we are back to top automatically we don't need to scroll this we can make this more smooth by passing another property called behavior so let me pass that behavior and the value is smooth let me go to the end let me go to page one and we see the smooth scrolling right and this is looking much more nice than before right let me try this again let me go to page two and we have a smooth scrolling to the top which is perfect now let's move to the second feature that is added on liveware version 2.6 and the second one is liveware now provides the support for multiple paginators so let me show you what they can do currently we are on the older version of liveware so let me go to multiple paginations and over here let me go to multiple pagination.blade.php file and over here we are simply listing the username and appointment date 
and we are using two different pagination one is for users and another is for appointments right now if i go to page two of for users then this is also changing to page two right and if i go to page three this is also changing to page three and this is some kind of weird behavior that we see if we use two different pagination on the same page so if i go to multiple pagination component class and over here let's pass another argument for columns is all and the third argument is the name of the page let's say appointment page okay now if i refresh it again and if i go over here this is still not working right because we are using the older version of liveware but in liveware version 2.6 we will not be having that issue so let me copy this code from here let me switch to the another project let me go to multiple pagination first of all let me check this if it is working let me switch to another project which is on a thousand one where we have the latest version of liveware which is 2.6 so if i change these pages this is still not working both are switching at the same time but now let me replace this code and if i try this again now if i go to page 2 for the appointments and this is working right we see this appointment page as a query string as well now i can go to page 4 for this appointments i can go to different page for user as well and we don't get any issue right this is working perfectly fine so this feature is really helpful when we have two different tables with this kind of paginations so this will perfectly work in liveware version 2.6 Whereas before the liveware version 2.6, this was having issue. So this is a great addition, right? So now let me move to the third feature that is added on liveware version 2.6, which is now in liveware version 2.6, protected and private methods and properties are available via this variable inside our blade view. So let me show you that as well. Now if I go to list users.blade.php let me go over here let me do die and um, this foo okay let's define this property let me go to list users.php and first of all let me define this as a public property foo is bar now let me go to users and we see this bar and but if we switch this to protected we will still get that result in liveware version 2.6 but before version 2.6 we are not allowed to access protected or private properties so if i change this to private we can access this as well but if i do the same in our older version of liveware so let me switch to another project and let me do the same let me go to list users Uh, let me define a public property first call foo the value is bar let me go to list users.blade.psv file and over here let me die and dump this foo now let me go to the browser on port 8000 we see that bar right but if i go over here and make this as protected and refresh the page and we are getting the exception called property foo not found on the component right if i change this to private it will still not work before liveware version 2.6 but in liveware version 2.6 we can access protected and private properties similarly we can access function as well so if i define the protected function test let me die and dump here test and if i go to list users let me call the test method and we are getting this issue before liveware version 2.6 because we cannot access those protected and private properties and methods but in liveware version 2.6 we can access those so let me define protected method protected function test let me die and dump test now 
let me go to list users and call the test method and let me go to the browser on port 8001 and we are getting the test right because this is working on version 2.6 now if I go to list users and make this private it will still work this is also a great addition to liveware version 2.6 so this much for this video i hope you are already excited to use some of these features that are added on liveware version 2.6 on your own project finally don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one